A lion roars out from the ornamental wrought iron covering the Baroque exterior of Morgan's Alley. At the end of the hall stands a shop, which on the outside seems bland and no different than the rest. But this shop is beautiful. Not because it is pretty, rather because it speaks of its owner the same way a properly fitted suit speaks of the man to which it had been tailored. My name is Sylvia Nita, and I'm the best tailor in Portland, Oregon, and I will always be. I will do whatever it takes to stay on the top of this trade. Being the best tailor around, I got the Portland Award program for the last seven years, and I'm not gonna stop there. I will keep getting for the next 10 years maybe. I was born in Romania and uh, I came in the United States in 300 children took the test, 70 passed. So it was like two days school every week, four days practice with the old tailors, you know, in the shop. And little by little, start like, start to like the, the trade. So after a few years, I become like one of the best in the shop, the faster, with a very high quality. The system over there was like, uh, because you are a beginner, you make a very low income. The monthly income was like half of the income the old tailors made. But was good enough. But in my free time, I already start having like my customers build up a reputation. After serving in the Romanian army, Sylvian returned home with hopes for a comfortable life. I got married, I have two kids, but working in the factory there was not enough to keep up with the expenses you have. So beside that I work with my own customers in my free time, which was not permitted by the government there to work without having a license and stuff like that. It was like a little bit of struggle. When I was like 28 years old, I decided to leave the country. So the only way to get out from there was if, to, if I escape. So I decided leave my wife and two kids and I decided to escape from Romania which I did in the summer of 1985. I was swimming over the Danube on the other side was Yugoslavia which was one country at that time so I have to cross the whole country and I went to Italy so I have to wait six months in the refugee camp. I was uh, waiting for the, to get the permission to come to the United States. After six months, I got it. 
So I came to Portland, Oregon. So I started fixing paper and try to fight with the Romanian government to give me my wife and two kids. It was not an easy project because always they try to brainwash them, but my wife told them, I say, even if I have to sleep under the bridges, there at least one thing will be good. I know I will be free. And that was like amazing. So she was tough with them to fight with them. I fight, I did whatever I could do from here. And finally they have no choice, so they let them go. In 1989, I opened my own business. And it took me a while to build up reputations. The advertising was not that great at that time. You have to pay the yellow page like three, four hundred, five hundred a month. But in time, the business get bigger and bigger, more customers, more challenges. So I take care of all of that. This is Shane. He is in need of a masterfully crafted wedding suit, for he has been enchanted by a lovely woman and needs a garment stitched and hemmed perfectly for him, bringing forth his best qualities just as she does. My first experience with Sylvian was great. Uh, he knew what I was looking for when I went in. He was able to help guide my own questions I didn't even know I had. Um, he is very knowledgeable about suits and the structure of the suits and where, you know, where you might need to tuck some stuff in. And I'm getting, a, I'm, today's another day that I get to go and be fitted for the suit. So this is going to be a great experience. If someone step in, in the shop, I um, ask to put the garment on. Then we go over and I check to see, make sure it's the right size and we check to see what can be done to be altered to fit the customer. Let me give you this one. Size 54. Okay. Let's see how this one fits. Feels like butter. So it looks like for the shoulders it's the right size. Okay. Anything else can be adjusted. Okay. But for the shoulders, that's where we are looking where, because if it's tighter, it's gonna open like that. If it's too big, okay. it's gonna show extra room. So what I want you to do, to try the whole thing on. Sure. Yeah. To put the pant on, put the, the vest. vest on, and then I can check on those ones too. Okay. Okay. So let's see. So it feels great. The suit. There is the dressing room. Thank we'll you. put the whole thing on. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put here some pins. At least you get an idea how it's going to look. Okay. But when it's going to be finished, it's going to be totally different. Uh, what else we need to do? We need to adjust the sleeves. Like this. Okay. They're a little long. Yeah, they are a little bit long. I'll show you exactly where about there. And if you want to show more cuffs, we can do shorter. Okay. But now depends. When you release the arms up, the sleeves goes up too. Okay, I think that's it on the jacket. Excellent. Let's remove the jacket. Okay. Yes. Now with the vest always you have the option to make it loose from the back. Okay. And if you want the front to look tighter, you can just tighten it from the back. Okay. If you don't hear from me like in a week, over a week, to say like a week from Tuesday. Okay. Call it, give me a call. Yeah, okay. I'll ask if I see what's okay. going on. Thank okay. you so much. I appreciate hey, all your help. You're welcome. Man.
usually we ask if a week it's okay. Are people who once like next day or the same day? We are, we, we always do that. We offer like rush jobs. Is sometimes we charge like few dollars more than the basic price, but we can do any rush jobs. So no matter when people need, we're not gonna let them go someplace else. So we keep, we try to keep everybody here and happy. Shorten the sleeves, raise the collar. So this is the machine which does the straight uh, stitches. And this is the machine I use most of the time. I spend a lot of time sitting down here, even if I don't do the use the machine, I sew by hand also, because this is my spot where I can see all the angles, what's going on. I can see if somebody goes through, come through the door, I get up, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, this machine is the search machine. We uh, use it for the hemming. Uh, we cut the band and then we do search the edge. And that will help from keeping from fraying and also for the best uh, look of the garment, best quality. So this machine is the, we call the blind stitches machine. We use it a lot for the blind stitch hem, which doesn't show anything from outside. And uh, we use it for pants and also for skirts or dresses, whatever we need to use it for. After we do all the alterations on the garment, the final is come to the press machine. So we do the pressing, and make sure the, all the garment looks very nice, not to show any wrinkle by the seam where we work for. Without this, no matter how good you do the alterations, if the garment is not pressed right, doesn't mean much. One suit, five for one. This is a suit you purchased from us. It is, and you made yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. I'll Go try it on. Go ahead and try it on, and All let's right. see how that come up. Thank you. Wow. Good. Yeah. What do you think? It feels great. It looks good, even without the dress shirt. So let's see what we did. We uh, adjust the sleeves, we shorten the sleeve. Looks like it's a very good length. A little bit of cuff will show there. Okay. When you move around, they're gonna go up a little bit, yeah. but that's normal. So we remove the roll on the collar in the back. Oh, looks nice, very smooth. You can step a little bit yeah, close to the mirror. And we took the size in. What do you think? Yeah, it fits great. I feel. I feel pretty so important. That, that what was done on the jacket. The pant, waist, we took the waist, seat and tie in. Okay. How's the waist? It, man, it's perfect. Good? Yeah. The cut. Less room on the tie there. Length looks perfect. I think that's it. This feels great.
Uh, the experience I've had with Sylvian's been uh, pretty easy. Uh, came in, tried it on, um, found out that I needed some adjustments. Honestly, had it done in a couple weeks, which was a great timeline. It feels great, and I think that it looks great. It makes me feel a little bit more uh, commanding. <laughs> feels great. I try to be as honest as possible. I'm not gonna jump to get the work in. If it's not possible to do it, I will always say no. And encourage a customer to go for a new garment or try something else. Who wants to go to some big box brand and not be treated like a human? Uh, and so that was one big thing is that Sylvian treated me like a human. He was caring, he was intelligent in what he does, and um, the suits look spectacular. For me, you know, like whatever I do, if it's a little thing, a simple thing, a complicated thing, it doesn't matter how much time I have to spend to do the. I always put the quality first. So I put that time, that extra time, you know, and I want to know the customer when comes and see it, say, that's a great work. And when they step out of the, my business to let everybody know, there is the best tailor. <laughs> 